the first step in creating your fish, friend or foe, is to fold it in half the hamburger way. So you're, again, you're folding it in half the hamburger way. The next step is to fold it again. Now right now I have the fold closest to me and I have the opening above. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one side and I'm going to fold it back like that and then I will fold it. So again, for those of you who did not see, I have it folded. This is the folded edge. I'm going to take one side, not both, but one side, and fold it back like that. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to flip over your artwork and write your name. Then when you're done, flip it back over. Today I'm going to be using Sharpie so that you can see, but you will be using pencil for the first steps today. Today you're going to be doing fish like you saw in that PowerPoint. There are a few important things to keep in mind. You can create your own fish. You can do something like this, or you can even do something like this fish. However, it is important that in both of these that your mouth that your mouth is right there at the corner because when you open it you want to make sure you have plenty of room for your faux teeth your mean teeth so again it's important that your lip comes that fold so I'm gonna start drawing my fish I'm going to start here at the mouth and again you can do any kind of shape you want as long as you have the top of your fish here on this side and again you continue on the bottom of your fish so that it meets here at that crease. Go ahead and draw your fish. Once you have the body of your fish, you could add fins if you want it. Again, a variety of different kinds of fins. You could do them dorsal or you could do here, the bottom. You could also add a fin in the middle. You could add a fin below if you wanted to just have a little fin when you open it, that's fine. If you want to have a big fin in the middle, you want to make sure that again it's on both sides of that fold so that when you open it you will continue on and have a big fin. Now of course we need an eye. Again you can have any kind of eye you like. If you wanted to add bubbles you can. And now the next part is decorating. You can use real scales or real patterns that you would see on a fish or you can make them up like I did here and here. You will notice however that I did the same patterns both on the top and the bottom. Top and the bottom. Keep in mind however that when you open up your fish you will have to continue on those patterns. So don't do anything that's extremely detailed or it will take you a very long time. So I could start, I may start with just some stripes. Going right over that fold, pretending it's not even there.
doing a variety of different patterns. Again, these could be realistic if you want to try and do some scales, that's totally fine. Or if you just want to do some random, random patterns, that's fine too. So go ahead and start doing patterns on your fish. This should take you the outside maybe about 10 minutes. In about 10 to 15 minutes, we will introduce the part of opening the mouth. Go ahead. Next, when you are done with the fish, you will open it up and we will do the mouth. So to do the mouth, the first thing, first thing we need to do is connect our tail. So that looks like one big fish. The next thing we are going to do is bring our mouth in like this so that we have enough room for our big mean teeth. So go ahead and connect these two, your tail and your mouth. Then we're going to do our nice big teeth. You can have your teeth any way you want. You can even have some coming here. Now when you're connecting your designs, want to make sure you're going all the way to the top to the bottom so that it looks like it is one fish from when you open it to when you close it again repeating all of those designs now your fin you can see I've kind of lost the fin here a little bit but I'm going to go back make it one big fin continuing that pattern that I had started when it was closed. You will finish adding patterns to the whole fish then if you would like you could add fish maybe your faux fish is eating another fish or eating a scuba diver or maybe you want to add more seaweed. Go ahead and add details to your fish.